so 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 Today, my daughter called me and she said, Ma, I would like some um, crawfish etouffee. And I said, Older daughter, that sounds like a good idea. I put mine with your crawfish and make it for my Sunday dinner. And after a while, we'll have a party going on in our mouth. So, and I'm going to put smoked sausage in it, too. So, if you will come over on the other side, right behind me, over there, I'm going to show you how I make crawfish at your face. Okay guys, I'm getting ready to take the fat off of the crawfish. You need the fat for the crawfish to make the broth. And I'm going to show you how I make the broth. There's two packs in mine's and hers. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna put two cups of cold water. Maybe about a cup and a half. A cup and a half of water. And this is gonna sit for a minute. You see all that yellow? This is gonna sit for a minute to uh, get the broth off. And we're gonna, after we get that broth off, we're gonna add it to chicken bouillon. And I've got that on the stove now. I've got four cups of water to four tablespoons of no, not four tablespoons, I'm sorry. Four teaspoons are better than bouillon. Remember, four cups of water in your kettle to four teaspoons. I'm gonna let this sit for like maybe, I better pour, I better pour the other half in there, yeah. Okay, two cups of water. Okay, now. I, I'm forgetting I'm making two uh, two bags. I have a I have a um, crawfish etouffee on my page and I made one bag. So by me using two bags, I'm doubling up. Understand? So when I made the one bag, I put one cup of water. So I need the two cups of water for two bags. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. And uh, I think I'm gonna get over here and make my uh, roux. Okay, now this is the part you're gonna have to stick with me on this because you're never supposed to stop stirring your roux. You don't want it to burn. I know I say this a lot of times whenever I'm uh, making a roux, you don't want your roux to burn. 
okay? And I'm gonna do two tablespoons of garlic, minced garlic. And I turned it down low, okay? Two tablespoons of minced garlic. I'm going to have to turn it up a little higher. I'm going to have to adjust the heat all the time because I don't want to mess around and burn my roof. Okay. Now I think this is about... Uh, actually, I start out with like maybe... I'm going to say this is about a half a cup of flour. Okay. And the butter that I put in, I put in a, a, a stick of butter and a half. Stick of butter and a half. And I said, I think this was like a whole cup of flour. Actually, you add the root in a little bit, of, I mean the flour in a little bit at a time. And I can't say that th this whole cup gonna go in, in the room, but you just have to look at it, eyeball it. Gosh, this smells so good. I love um, minced garlic. And I ran out the other day and I had to use uh, garlic powder and I picked me up a little jar of a uh, minced garlic the other day now you have to eyeball it make sure you eyeball it let me pull you where are you up in here I think I'm going to use the whole cup. Yep. Now I'm gonna let this simmer. I'm gonna turn it down on low. And I'm gonna let it simmer for about two or three minutes to cook the flour off of the roof. Okay, and I'll be right back. About about three or four minutes. Three or four minutes. Two, three. Just as long as you don't let it burn, you keep stirring it. <clears throat> okay, you're gonna add your bell peppers. I used a whole bell pepper. Your green and red bell pepper. I used a whole. Celery, three sticks. Onion, a whole onion. Now you're gonna stir your vegetables up in your room.
I'm gonna turn it up. And all you're gonna do is just stir your vegetables, constantly stir your vegetables because uh, until they get done. Done the way you like them done, okay? Okay, I'm gonna say stir for about maybe let it cook for maybe uh, 15, 20 minutes, constantly stirring. I'm, I'm not going to constantly stir. I'm going to walk away for a minute, but I'm going to be keeping my eye on this over here, okay? And when you walk away from it, turn the eye down. You don't have to keep the eye high. As long as, I'm, I, got, long as I am standing here, I'm going to keep my eye high. But if I walk away, I'm going to turn my eye down. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, now I'm getting the stock off of the crabfish. Crabfish. Lord, crabfish. Crawfish. I'm going to pour it in here. And I'm going to put it in this measuring cup. That's the stock. So that I can pour it in my kettle. With two, I mean with four cups of water and four teaspoons of bouillon cube. I mean, uh, better than bouillon. Okay, I'm gonna put it back on the stove so it can continue to cook. Okay, I'm gonna season my vegetables. When I put the water on it, it's gonna thicken up. It's gonna uh, thicken up with a, with a broth. They all stuck together now, but when I throw the water in here, it's going to uh, be a um, bouillon cube in the uh, stock. When I start, throw the stock in there, it's going to thicken up. I'm going to add two, one teaspoon of Old Bay. I didn't have Tony's Atries. Well, none of those other uh, Cajun seasons, but I'm gonna put this one in. About a tablespoon. Seafood Magic. About a teaspoon, or whatever you want to add. Uh, it's up to you. You don't have to add this, and you can add more seasonings if you like, or some other seasoning. Jatarin's cayenne pepper. About a teaspoon. Okay, now I'm going to add, I'm going to turn it up first. Okay. 
about two cups of water. I mean stock, two cups of stock. Three cups. about four cups and I'm gonna turn it down and simmer. I'm gonna put the top on and simmer this for about 20 minutes. Okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, now I'm adding the crawfish. Two bags of crawfish. And you don't need to let this cook too, too long because it's already done. I'm gonna say I'm uh, about five minutes and this is done. Okay, I'm gonna put the smoked sausage in. I put it in the oven and let it cook for about five minutes because I want a little sear to it. Okay. Yes, boy. This is looking and smelling delicious. Okay. I'm gonna let it cook for five minutes. I wish I can put you down in here a little further. Until I cook my rice, I'm gonna put the top back on. I was gonna taste it, but I'll taste it. Five minutes. Now I'm putting my rice on, and uh, it's done. Okay, guys, here's my crawfish at a fay, and it's really, really good. Tasty, whoo! I'm gonna try to give y'all a little taste. I should have got a bigger spoon. Okay. Mm. Oh my God. Good. Spicy. I didn't have any garlic bread. Garlic toast to eat with it. So I'm going to taste a little bit with y'all. And I'm going to run to Walmart and get me some garlic toast. And come back. Put it in the microwave, and then I'm gonna finish it. I sure wish I had some garlic toast. I didn't even think about it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is good. Subscribe, like, and comment. To my crawfish LP. God, it's spicy. Stay humble. Be blessed. And y'all have a good day. Mm-hmm. It's a great little Sunday meal. 
Y'all ain't got to go home. You out here to put y'all out. But you got to get out of here. Mm -mm -mm. Bye for now. Mm.